Now in this video we shall see the frequency response of two RC networks. Now this is uh, circuit number one. We shall see the RC network analysis of this particular circuit. So you can see we have an input voltage V in. So there is a resistor R and the capacitor. The output voltage is taken across the capacitor. By writing KVL we can write this uh, minus V in plus uh, I into R plus uh, the voltage drop across the capacitor as because they should be equated to zero so let me put it as equal to zero that is missing so assuming the initial conditions as zero and uh, let us take the Laplace transform uh, for this particular expression so then this uh, V in become V in of S and this I of S into R plus uh, 1 over C S into I of S so this 1 over C integral of I dt will become 1 over C 1 over C S into I of S so from this expression so let us name this as expression 1 and uh, uh, from this expression 1 we can write the expression for IFS as V in of S by R plus 1 over CS and uh, we know the expression for the output voltage which is nothing but the voltage drop across the capacitor is given by 1 over C into integral of I dt again assuming the initial conditions as 0 so the V naught of S the Laplace of the output voltage is given by 1 over CS into IFS so let us substitute uh, the IFS value from this equation 2 and we get uh, V naught of S as 1 over CS into uh, so and so. So from which uh, we can actually get uh, V naught of S as V in of S by 1 plus RS into C. So ultimately uh, we know that now this is the transfer function which is the ratio of V naught of S by V in of S. So this V in of S is not visible. Sorry for that. So transfer function is nothing but the output. Laplace to the uh, input Laplace so it is 1 over 1 plus RCS so this is the Laplace transfer function for this uh, particular network which is given by 1 plus 1 sorry 1 over 1 plus RCS so let us move and then try to find out uh, some more now let us try to find the frequency response of uh, that circuit 1 so we have to replace that S by G omega uh, okay, uh, why we need to replace S by J omega? We will just uh, see it uh, some other time. So, replacing S by J omega, so we'll write uh, uh, V naught of S by V n of S is now replaced by V naught of J omega by V n of J omega. And uh, you can see now it was uh, 1 over 1 plus RCS. You are replacing S by J omega. And uh, here, uh, this is a gain expression which is a transfer function. So, it can be expressed as both magnitude as well as the phase. Now if you take only the magnitude of uh, this particular uh, term which is 1 over 1 plus j r c j omega so mag because you can see in the denominator we have a, a imaginary term the magnitude of that can be obtained as 1 over under root of 1 plus uh, r c omega whole square. Similarly the uh, phase of the uh, gain so this gain is going to have both magnitude as well as the phase. Phase part is given by uh, the phase angle of uh, this particular parameter which is nothing but uh, tan inverse of uh, imaginary by the real so imaginary term is uh, R the coefficient of imaginary term is rc omega whereas the coefficient of real term is 1 so it is y is minus is because it is in the denominator it is minus into tan inverse of uh, rc into omega by 1 because uh, by default 1 is uh, not considered here we can also express the gain in terms of dB so which is nothing but 20 log of uh, this quantity which is over here so it can also be written as minus 20 log of uh, under root of 1 plus RC omega whole square so this way we can actually get the expression for the uh, magnitude in terms of ratio in terms of dB and phase in terms of degrees now let us try to see the variation of the magnitude and the phase uh, of the gain as a function of frequency that is angular frequency omega for which we have made a table here so this is frequency in terms of radian per second this is a magnitude uh, of gain which is volt per volt and it's again the magnitude which is in dBs which is nothing but 20 log of that volt per volt and we have gain uh, which is uh, whose phase is written in terms of degrees now uh, this is obtained by uh, substituting the value of omega onto this phase equation as well as onto the uh, gain expression which is in terms of dBs or which is in terms of ratio. Now we are substituting the value of omega in uh, the extreme value of omega is 0 and infinity. If you substitute omega is equal to 0 in, in this particular expression which is in terms of dBs it will come as 0 dB. 
whereas if you uh, substitute the same value of omega as 0 in the uh, magnitude expression which is not in terms of db so it will come as 1 so 20 log of 1 is 0 that's what is the 0 db here and similarly if you uh, substitute the other extreme value of omega as infinity the magnitude in terms of uh, ratio or when this omega becomes infinity this 1 over infinity will become 0 whereas the gain in terms of db is minus infinity similarly we can find the uh, phase of that gain as the value of omega changes now tan inverse of 0 is 0 again uh, tan inverse of uh, infinity is uh, 90 degree since there is a minus sign here it is minus 90 degree the phase changes from 0 to uh, minus 90 whereas the magnitude changes from 1 to 0 the magnitude in terms of db changes from 0 to minus infinity so let us give uh, in between values for this uh, omega so let us take in terms of uh, uh, rc here so let us assume that uh, omega is equal to 1 over rc so because uh, the value of uh, omega is related to rc now here if omega is equal to 1 over rc we will have this as uh, 1 over under root of 1 plus 1 which is 1 over root 2 which happens to be a gain of 0 0.707 the magnitude of that happens to be in terms of db happens to be minus 3 db if you actually substitute the same value of omega as 1 over rc here so in, in this phase equation so this is tan inverse of uh, rc by rc into 1 over rc this becomes tan inverse of 1 which is minus 45 degree likewise substituting different values of omega as uh, uh, 10 by rc and 100 by rc we get the magnitudes and magnitude in terms of ratio and the magnitude in terms of uh, db and of course the phase it is uh, worth to uh, observe here now you can see the frequency is increased from uh, 1 over rc to 10 by rc next it is uh, 100 by rc you can see there is a ratio of uh, 100 here sorry uh, 10 here that is uh, this is if you take frequency as omega 1 this is omega 2 omega 2 is actually 10 times of omega 1 please observe the change in the magnitude here so when it is uh, omega 1 it is minus 20 db when it is uh, 10 times omega 1 it is now now that means to say here so as the frequency increases by uh, 10 times the gain reduces by uh, minus 20 db so it's actually a reduction of 20 db per increase in frequency of 10 times so we call the slope as uh, 20 db per decade which is in negative direction uh, this is how we can uh, try to analyze uh, uh, the variation in gain with respect to uh, the change in frequency. Uh, see the same plot here. So I am plotting here. Uh, this is omega in terms of 1 over rc, 10 uh, by rc and it is 100 by rc. See here it is initially 0 dB, it reduces and then it goes like this. When it is 1 over rc, now this is gain in terms of dB, it is minus 3 dB. So this is uh, this minus 3 dB. When it is uh, 10 by rc, it is minus 20. When it is uh, 100 by rc, it is now you can see minus 40 dB. See here, observe one thing here, the slope of this line. So slope of this line is minus 20 dB per decade. So this we call it as decade. So there is an increase in frequency by 10 times, which is uh, exactly decade. So it is uh, a reduction of. So let me just uh, see the variation here. So now as, as the frequency increased by 10 times the gain reduces by 20 dB. So that's why this is called as 20 dB per decade which we call it as slope of the line or the roll off. Now this is the uh, rate at which the gain is falling. So this is the phase plot. So the initially the phase is 0 degree. So as the value of omega increases to infinity it reaches minus 90 degree. This is a variation in the phase. So it is also worth uh, uh, to observe that uh, at omega is equal to 1 over rc the phase is exactly minus 45 degree so the magnitude is uh, 3 db down from the maximum whereas here the phase is uh, minus 45 degree carefully observe uh, this uh, ideal graph you can see now initially it is high and then it is keep reducing initially we will have something like this okay output is uh, almost same as the input the gain is 1 now now almost the output voltage reducing in an ideal case uh, this we call it as pass band where output is equal to input or the circuit passes the entire uh, signal and in the stop band the output is zero so any frequency is beyond uh, this cutoff frequency we call it as omega c it will going to stop anything before that it will going to pass so there is a pass band which passes the signal and there is a stop band which stops the signal and 
So we also observed that uh, when omega is equal to 1 over RC, 1 over RC we have a 3 dB uh, reduction in the gain. So carefully observe here, uh, this is omega is nothing but angular frequency which is nothing but 2 pi into F is equal to 1 over RC. So then F can be written as 1 over 2 pi RC. So this F is nothing but a cutoff frequency at which uh, this transition starts from this uh, uh, what flat slope to a slope which is keep reducing at a, at a rate of minus 20 dB per decade. So this type of filter where it passes the low frequency signal and where it stops the high frequency signal is called as low pass filter. As the name itself indicates it is passing low frequency. So it is a low pass filter. We shall have a look at the second circuit. So now you can see uh, compared to first circuit it is just uh, the interchange of the position of uh, uh, C and R. Again using uh, KVL I can write the input voltage is equal to drop across capacitor and the drop across the resistor which is 1 over C integral of IDT plus I into R. Using Laplace transform you can write the input uh, current. Uh, sorry the current is given by Vm by 1 over Cs plus R. Now simply here we can get an expression for the uh, current in terms of Laplace transform. So V I of S is given by V N of S divided by 1 over C S plus R. So again uh, V naught is nothing but the voltage drop across the resistor R. So we can uh, finally write the output expression by substituting what is I of S uh, from this equation. So we ultimately get the transfer function for this particular network as R C S by 1 plus R C S. Now in order to obtain the transfer function, uh, in order to obtain the magnitude, so let us take the magnitude of this uh, transfer function by replacing S by J omega. So this magnitude will be RC omega divided by under root of 1 plus RC omega whole square. In terms of uh, dB you can write as 20 log of that ratio. And the phase is given by, since it is uh, J omega is there in this term, it is 90 minus 10 inverse of uh, RC omega. So here this is the uh, phase here. Phase is now given by 90 degrees minus of tan inverse of RC omega. So similarly uh, substituting the value of uh, omega in both the magnitude and the uh, phase will get the uh, magnitude in terms of uh, ratio and in terms of dB and uh, of course the phase in terms of degrees. So for different values of omega. Now again you can see we have given the value of omega as 0 and infinity. We found the magnitude in terms of ratio as 0 and 1 respectively. The corresponding gains in terms of dB is minus infinite dB and uh, 0 dB here. The corresponding phase is plus 90 degree and 0 degree for uh, the frequencies like uh, for 0 radian per second it is plus 90 degree and for infinite frequency it is uh, 0 degree. Uh, here also we can carefully observe that so when the ratio of the frequency is 10 so it is 0.01 RC 0.01 by RC and this is 0.001 by RC where the ratio of the two frequencies is 10 you can see there is a reduction of uh, uh, sorry there is an increase of uh, 20 dB now that's what is shown here so this is 0.01 so 0.01 corresponds to minus 40 dB as you can see here so this is 0.1, the 0.1 corresponds to minus 20 dB, which is minus 20 here. You can see as the frequency increases by 10 times, the gain is increasing by 20 dB. Now here you can see the slope is now plus 20 dB per decade. In the previous circuit, we have seen that the as the frequency was increasing, the gain was reducing by 20 dB. Now it is increasing, so that's why it's a positive slope. It is plus 20 dB per decade. And similarly you can see the phase is initially 90 degrees and it goes down till to 0 degree as omega tends to infinity. And it is worth to, uh, to observe that uh, when omega is equal to 1 over RC, here the phase is 45 degree. Now it is exactly the opposite the way how we just did it for the previous circuit. This is the stop band now, this is the pass band because it is passing the frequencies, any, any frequency beyond this 1 over RC. So we have uh, defined one more cutoff frequency here which is 1 over 2 pi. Uh, this is FC, so this is uh, cutoff frequency FC is given by 1 over 2 pi RC here. This is R here, so cutoff frequency is given by 1 over 2 pi RC. So this is the representation of a high pass filter, so it is passing the frequencies beyond the cutoff frequency FC. So that's why this is named as high pass filter. So in the next video, we shall see uh, the Miller's theorem. So what is the application of this Miller's theorem? Okay, why we uh, supposed to? Uh, learn this in the frequency response of 
the higher circuits.